Texas is getting ready for a very rare event in a couple of weeks, and we talk about it so much. We, every single day. Fox 26's Anthony Antoine is here to talk more about what we're going to experience during the total solar eclipse, in case you didn't know. Yeah, right? <laughs> We've been talking about it for quite some time, and for good reason. April 8th, that is the big day, and certain parts of Texas will turn dark in the middle of the day, and the Lone Star State hasn't seen something like this in a very long time. Texans are about to have a front row seat to a historic event. Every few years or so, the sun, moon, and earth all line up, creating the cosmic wonder that we call a total solar eclipse, causing near total darkness in the middle of the afternoon. In central Texas, schools have already canceled classes, and several counties have even issued disaster declarations. The last time this happened in Texas was more than 100 years ago, making this upcoming eclipse historically significant. A total solar eclipse occurs somewhere on Earth almost every year. But in any given spot, it may be only every 350 years or so. According to NASA, the Great North American Eclipse will stretch from Mexico to Canada and last anywhere from three and a half to four minutes. When the corona comes out and it goes total, it's like this eyeball looking at you from space because the sun, instead of being bright, is dark and it has this white halo around it and it's like somebody's eye looking down at you. The eclipse is only visible to certain parts of the world and every time it happens, its path changes. So a, a few minutes before totality, when the sun gets to be really, really skinny, uh, it, there's a diffraction pattern of sunlight that is on the ground, but it's sweeping past you at a thousand miles an hour. And so you see that light on the ground look like little ripples. Eye damage from improperly viewing the eclipse could last a lifetime. So if you want to see it safely, you'll need specialized eye protection. Your sunglasses will not cut it because they only filter light. You get uh, something we call uh, the diamond ring, which is the last bit of sunlight before it gets covered up. And that's a beautiful thing to see. But don't look at it going in. You'll ruin your eyesight. Wait and watch that coming out. Here in Houston, the peak of the eclipse is scheduled for around 1.40 p.m., but you'll need to plan a day trip to areas north and west of Austin and San Antonio to see the daytime sky turn dark. If you miss it this time around, the next full solar eclipse in the U.S. from coast to coast won't happen until 2045. It's a real visceral experience, and the whole anticipation, is the weather going to hold, is it going to work out? adds to the the magic and mystery of it so you know when it really happens it's just uh, a, an amazing rush i gotta get my glasses and get prepared <laughs> central texas will be very busy with an influx of drivers tech stock plans to have more staff on duty leading up to and after that event right